Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server inventory or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to subscribe on because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment and dibbles below. Like all these people here that per that suggested luck perms. This is made by luck and it is a new permissions plugin. Well, I don't know how new it is, but it is actively updated and has a whole lot of awesome features. Let's talk about what a permissions plugin is for everybody new. What it is, is it allows you to give your users access to different commands, different uh, options, different features and even remove different options, features, and stuff without giving them op or deop. So then you can easily give them access to world edit or maybe some sort of uh, spawning system, but not have to give them access to everything. So the way that that works is plugins built these permission nodes, and you'll usually see them with the permission or the uh, plugin name dot whatever it is that they need access to. And then you can add that into your permissions plugin you can add use you can create groups in your permissions plugin add users to that group so that you basically set up it once and then you just add people to those groups and then there's other plugins out there that help people transition between groups um, or you can use it for special other purposes if you are using pex or group manager you can actually migrate those using this plugin if you start both of the jar files up and then you use a command called uh, LP migration and then the plugin name. So for PEX, it's just permissions X. And then for group manager, you have to do group manager. And then if you've used like special per world permissions, so you have multiple different worlds, you have to list all of the worlds that you want to migrate over. If you just have one global one, then you just need to migrate that one over and that's it. It works pretty easy. Um, before you even get started, you need to actually give yourself permissions to use it. And it doesn't work just because you're op. So you need to actually go into your console and run it just like PEX. Here we have our console up and you're going to do LP user cause for Christ permission set luck perms dot star i recommend not just adding the dot star here to give yourself permissions to everything because that can kind of break other stuff um if you have any kind of permissions checks and then you're not able to play some stuff on your server then that will mess it up so i suggest doing luck perms dot star that will give you access to all of the luck perm once we have that set up there's another uh thing to talk about is by default the plugin uses a built-in database type uh, rather than a config YML or a permissions YML. So if you want to change that, you have to actually change that in your config. But the first thing you want to do is export any changes. So you want to do export and then file, file name. And then you want to shut down the server, change that in the configuration, which we'll talk about the configuration here at the end and then do import and then the file name so rather than export you're going to do import and then that's how you can export and import that stuff if you change the storage i've left it at the default because i think it's pretty slick it's a lot faster you and you could do everything in the game you don't need to do anything outside of it so this plugin does work on bungee cord what you want to do is place it on each server that you need the permission checks to run and then you can also run it on bungee cord and then you can use this as a permissions uh, plugin for bungee cord which is really cool to allow access to different servers or any of those bungee cord permissions out there um the the author does recommend that if you start using it on bungee cord that you use the sql storage type so change that point it at an sql database so that across all your servers that'll be synced up the plugin does allow for per world and per server permission nodes which is really cool you'll see that here in a few all right let's get into uh let's get into the meat and potatoes in setting this all up so what you want to do everything is luck perms or short version is lp so we're going to create a group create group vip so now that we've created that group, you can actually just do LP group VIP, and then you can even do LP group uh, info, and then you can do LP permission info, and that's going to tell you any kind of permission nodes that you've set up for that. So what we want to do is we want to set up a couple permission nodes for it. So we're going to do LP group VIP permission set. You either have set or unset, so to remove anything in there, and then you can do 
Uh, we'll do a per let's just go right to a perm world. We're gonna do essentials dot warp and then true. So if you want to negate, so talking about in permissions and permissions X or group manager, there's always that negative right before the permission node. This is either true or false. So if you said the false, that basically negates it. And then you can do a server, but we're going to just do global. And then we want to do kingdom. So only in the world kingdoms, do we have a access to that essentials warp command. So that is there. And then there's a few other things you can do in here for LP group. If you just do LP group, it gives you an ax, uh, LP group, it gives you access to a lot of commands. You can pretty much just start typing in stuff without uh, specifying permission nodes or any other commands and it'll, it'll start telling you what you can, can and cannot do. So we could do LP group VIP permission. So like, if we just left it there, it tells you everything that you can do. The node, true or false, like I was talking about, the server and the world, these are optional. So I think that if you don't put true or false in there, it will automatically fill that in, which is pretty nice. Now the next thing is we want to add ourselves to that group. So we're going to do LP user. Now we talk about user commands. Basically, everything you can do in group, you can also do in user. It's just you're going to change this to you from user to group. Basically, just like permissions X, parent, and then we want to set it. So that's going to remove all other groups. If you want to add multiple groups to somebody, you're going to use add instead of set, do VIP, and that's pretty much it. So you can also put a global and a world you know, a server and a world in here as well. So you can set groups per server, per world, um, which is really slick. Now you can see it had their existing parents cleared and now inherits from VIP. So we're part of the VIP group. So now we can actually, if we do warp tutorial, it won't work because we're not in the right world. So now we can do MVP TP kingdoms. All right, so now that once we're in this world, we can do warp tutorial and it'll warp us back. And once again, we can't use that in this world, but if we want to set up a temporary uh, plugin or uh, permission, so we do LP group VIP permission set temp. We're just going to do the same one. Uh, true, and then we're just going to do 10 seconds. So if you put M, that's minutes, H is, H is hours, and D is days. Um, I think capital M is months. Uh, I think W is weeks. There's a whole lot of them you can kind of play around with it, but I believe S, lowercase s is seconds. So there we go. So now we can do that one for 10 more seconds, and then that will expire. All right, so we could do LP list groups, and you can see that we have those. We have the default and the VIP group that we that we uh, set, and now we can you can see that that permission node has expired. Now we need to set a per, uh, prefix and suffix. We're just going to go through the suffix pre setup, and then you can kind of extrapolate that to your prefix. So we're going to do VIP, and now this all happens under meta. So if you do meta, you can see we have the add prefix, remove prefix. And you can do temp prefixes and suffixes as well, which is really kind of cool. Now, um, the one thing is, is that you'll notice that this is add prefix and not set prefix. So if you add a prefix and you need to change it, you actually need to remove the prefix and then re-add it. So pro tip on that one, we're going to do add suffix, and then we can set a weight to it of 100. I believe the lower the number, the higher the weight, kind of like how all other ones are. And then we're going to put a quote and then a space so that at the end of our name, there will be a space before the tag and then another quote. And then we can do test. And you can see that that has set up. Now, if you, oh, we forgot the end one. So one, so this is where that uh, remove prefix is going to come into play. And um, we can actually just go meta clear. And that's going to clear all of it in there. So then we can do add prefix. And we can even add color coding to it if we want. But remember, this is going to probably change the name the color of our name as well or no never mind if we had it as a prefix it would have changed the color of our name but there we go color code is changed which is really slick all right so let's talk about some group inheritance let's do lp group 
default permission set essentials dot spawn. So we're going to try to give ourselves access to that. So right now it does not. But if we inherit from that default group, go LP group VIP parents add default. So now, now we're in the v VIP group. That's the only group we're in. And we're inheriting from the default. We can do slash spawn. And now we're, this is spawn. So it warped us through to the spawn. So if you want to change that default group name, you actually got to add, manually add something to the config. And it's a, it's what you're seeing on the screen. We'll talk about the config in a second. So the other part that you can, that you can set up is LP track. So if we were to do LP track, you can create track, you can insert, add, um, change the group permissions. So basically you can, um, this will allow you, if you're creating a track, basically like a VIP. So if we want to do LP, so we're going to create group VIP2. We can do LP create track, uh, donor track. We're going to create it as the donor track. And then we're going to do LP track donor append group VIP2. Uh, insert... Okay, so now we're we got to add the first one to it, and then we're gonna append VIP two, and then you can do uh, LP. Can we see the track LP list track? Oh, it's tracks. So we have the donor track. So LP track donor. And then we can do info and that's going to show you what's in there. So we have the VIP donor. So then we can do LP user cosmic rice promote donor. So now, uh, now we're in a different group and we can do per, uh, demote, I believe demote donor. Let's say we wanted to add, let's LP create group VIP one a. We want to put this in the middle. So we created a new group. We want to do LP track donor insert VIP 1A into the second position. So now you can see that it manually put that in there. We don't even need to look up the info, but it's in there. So now we can do, um, I mean, we're not going to be able to see what it is, but now, now when we promote, we're in this one and it'll go along there. But rather than adding it to the end, we inserted it in there, which is really slick. Now, one last thing I want to talk about before we look at the configuration is there's a really cool feature in here where if you don't know what all the permission nodes are, you can actually use this plugin to record and look them up uh, for a plugin that you're using. So if you do LP verbose, and then we're going to just do record. If you just use the three options are on, off, record, and paste. Sorry, four options. But we're going to do record. This way, if you put it as on, it's going to show up in the chat. And, and we don't really want that because it's going to be a lot of information. So then you can do record. So we're going to look at anything that I'm doing and anything related to world edit. So you can actually, you could do this. You could do like world edit uh or something else so you can use the or sign or you can do end um not world edit dot selection so it'll give you it'll return you everything that i'm doing and is world edit and not world edit selection but we're going to keep it pretty basic here like i said like you could see right now that this gets pretty complicated but you can do record that should start to do a command so we're going to do one and then we can do paste so once that's done even though we didn't have access to the commands it pasted all this stuff which you'll see on the screen here i'll actually post that uh, link in the jibbles as well so you can go look at it more in depth let's take a look at the config and wrap this up all right so we're in our server we are running a new brand new 11.2 we're gonna fire up the permissions now we do have pecs in here because i just turned it off we're gonna fire up the luck Terms. And now you have your config and then here's that database that it created. All right, so pretty quick the 
authors offered a lot of comments in this. So if you're not using Notepad++ to check on this, I would highly recommend because you'll be able to see all this stuff really easily. This is for if you're using multiple different servers, you can change the name of this server. So rather than being global, it'll be whatever that is. You can also include the global server as a permission. You include global world apply all that stuff you can set this online mode so if you're not running online mode if you set this to false it'll it won't check the uuid it'll just check the player name however if you are running bungee cord correctly so your bungee cord servers are actually in offline mode but your bungee cord proxy is in is true then you're going to leave this as true as this one here's some of the exceptions of there like i said the author's done a fantastic job of explaining everything that's going on you can actually turn on turn off wild cards which is pretty cool you can set some manual group weights in here rather than it being in the database you can also set some prefix and suffixes in here and change how the uh, prefix and suffix is read so rather than the highest weight you can set it to the lowest weight um, highest on track or highest own all that kind of stuff you can disable ops in here you can enable it to auto op if they have the right permission node it'll automatically opt them when they join the server you can change some vault information so the vault is a lot of how it um your permission nodes use vault in, in regards to showing the prefix and suffix um, you can change a lot of that. Here's where you start talking about the storage method. So if you shut down a server, you want to change this to uh, YML, YAML, and that will change it to the standard YML uh, field, or you can change it to MySQL is the other one that we recommend, and then you fill in all of this and point it to a MySQL database. So if you're running a, a bungee cord, that is what you're going to want to do for running this, this plugin. Here's where you can change the default assignments, and then uh, you can add that default group name rewrite. You know, the other thing you can do rather than doing that, you can actually create a new group and then just have default inherit from that group. And so the actual name of the group is going to be uh, default, but then it's going to be inheriting all the permissions, all the pack or all the suffix and prefix and stuff. So if you don't want to edit the configuration, that's probably the better way to do that is just set the group to inherit. All right, guys, that is luck perms. It is a fantastic new permissions plugin that is very powerful. There's a whole lot else that it does. Actually, you can do bulk uh, edits, you can do um, a whole lot of like there's a lot of other commands that I did not address in this this tutorial I just wanted to get you up and running and then you can kind of start playing around with it like you like you saw me do throughout the, the tutorial you basically just plug in the commands and start looking at what's on the screen the author's done a great job of really directing you and understanding how the plugin works so hopefully that it helps you guys get started this is Cos reminding you guys all enjoy the game God bless uh -oh.